Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. It's now 32 minutes after the hour of 6 o'clock. And this is our Emancipation Show. Remember, you will not be seeing us on Monday. And so we are celebrating freedom as we look towards celebrating Emancipation Day. Now, on July 31st, 2021, Lutalo Masimba, also known as Brother Resistance, passed away, which makes this month one year since the Rapso icon died. And in celebration of his life, the Emancipation Support Committee will honor his legacy with a tribute concert. And actually, he will be part of the procession that's also taking place on Monday. And so with me to talk more about this is actually our brother resistance, um, brother in arms, a fellow Rapso artist, and of course, Calypsonian, Omari Ashby. Omari, good morning. Good thank morning. you so much for joining us on now. Uh, thank you for having me, Sarah. No, always a pleasure to be here with you guys. Of course. Now let's jump right in. I mean, I know that you are having um, that tribute concert for um, Brother Resistance, but more so, let's talk about what's happening on Monday. Okay, so on Monday, um, mon now Emancipation Day, let me start off by saying Emancipation Day is very special um, and ha has always had a special place in, in, in um, Lutalo Masimba's heart, but resistance. They used to make joke for Emancipation. When Emancipation morning come, it's one of his biggest and brightest smiles. He would, the energy would be right there. His celebration is there. And so in keeping with that, um, Prindella's Fashion, um, which is run by his, his fellow co-lead singer from the network Rapso Rhythm Band, um, Karega Mandela and his wife, Carol Mandela, they decided to come up with this, this brainchild of doing this truck because Resistance had a truck all the time in, in, the, in the Emancipation Procession. So they have decided to do this truck to honor both him and Brother Benny J, who was the musical director for the uh, Rapso um, band as well, the network band. And so itself will be in honor of both of them and will be joining the procession on Mondays. Um, and, and this listen, this is a celebration of their lives. This is a celebration of emancipation. So it's about joy, it's about beauty, it's about remembering and honoring, yeah? Yeah. And is this open to the public? It will be part of the um the emancipation Just celebration. Want everybody to come, come. Yeah, come down and join us. Um on the Brian Lara Promenade, you know, every emancipation morning there's a little ceremony that happens there as well. And everybody all the trucks line up and everyone is 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 looking beautiful and great. So come and join the truck. Um meet us on the promenade Monday. Uh, and and just come and celebrate the emancipation, celebrate the lives of, of Benny J, celebrate the lives of all the life of, of Brother Resistance. Uh, come and enjoy the moment. Um, like yourself as Resistance used to say. <laughs> like that, like yourself. Who else can we see uh, or can we expect to see on Monday? Monday, listen, Monday is the whole, the, the, that is the culmination of the celebration that, that, that would have started maybe a month, a month and a half ago. So you're going to see everybody. Everybody who is anybody um, will be out there dressed to the nines in, in all the different um, African wear, um, traditional wear, Trinbegonian wear, um, representing. Uh, and it's a beautiful, it's, it's always a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful day. And it culminates in the Legia Somawali Emancipation Village at the, at the Savannah. Um, and the energy is going to be great. So, so when you finish with the procession and, and you reach to the village, of course, there will be um, the normal things that the village would give, all the booths, all the, all the, um, all the food, everything, everything. So, it's, so it's, it's not to be missed. It's a beautiful way to mark emancipation. It's a beautiful way to celebrate these brothers' lives. Um, and it's a beautiful day to be out and feel good about yourself, yeah? Nice. I love that you're focusing on this celebration of life because, of course, Brother Resistance would have done so much. He was the president of Tuco, and so he always kept his hand on what was taking place, you know, in our cultural fraternity locally. And, of course, he was given the Hummingbird Medal a few years ago. But what else do you think we should do to honor such an icon? I think, I think we, in, in keeping with, with, with Resistance life, how he lived his life, um, he would want all the things good. For the cultural fraternity, so through Tuko, he 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 wanted there to be a home for for um, Calypsonians and artists. Um, he would have pioneered the, the you don't know um, make ensuring that 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 those who are less fortunate, those who who may fall to illness. So he would have wanted 
the best for the cultural fraternity for both Rapso, for Kaiso, for the cultural fraternity in general. So I think the best honor that you could give to, to Lutalo Masimba is to carry on that fight to ensure that his dream to see culture. Um, I mean, he, he used to always say, stand firm for your culture. So that belief <coughs> that culture was the way forward for Trinidad and Tobago, I think if we uphold that, if we honor some of his dreams in terms of that home, in terms of, of Rapso flourishing, in terms of seeing Calypso um, and, and, and as an art form in the schools being used to taught English, perhaps literature, those kind of things, those are the goals he would have had. And those are the things that we hope to continue fighting for and hope to honor. You know, I just want to make special mention to Prendella's Fashions because this truck, when the idea first came up, it was like, you know, let's go look for sponsorship, let's go. And they were like, no, we are going to do this ourselves, just organize and, and we're going to be there to support. So so there was no additional sponsorship. They took on this wholly and solely because they believe in this project so much, you know? Of course. So Omari, what you're saying is that when we come out on, on Monday, this truck will just be an entire uh, memorial, I would say, too, or a celebration of a life for Brother Resistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Brother Resistance and Benny J. Benny J was an integral part of, of the network band, and, and he, 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 was, he was fully in support of the Rapso movement and, and Brother Resistance. So these two brothers' lives, we are going to have a time because their energy was joy. Their magic, the magic they used to bring to any space was that energy of celebration. And I know I am absolutely sure that this is, is, is the kind of thing that they would want in honor and in their memory, that living celebration um, to, to, to just see the people being happy, joyful, and in their full beauty, walking in the glory of things. Of course. Now, Omari, when we look at some of the, the young people who are coming out now, they may be gravitating more towards soccer. I know that there are some people who may want to enter the Calypso fraternity, but we're not seeing many actually gravitating towards Rapso. How, why do you think that is? And do you think that can change as we look towards, you know, um, the yeah, next few yeah, years? Um, I've always told people, no, it's a legitimate concern because a lot of people say to me, you know, we're not seeing as much Rapso. Omari. Um, but my my thing is that what has happened is that Rapso has been hiding in plain sight. So when you look at the energy of the young people's music, when you look at some of the soca and you realize the approach to it, they all been approaching with a Rapso energy, which is the more chanting style of of uh, or side of the soca. So you find that, and this has been the case a lot of times, right? So you de you declare yourself a soca artist but you would have done things in the Rapso vein. So, so I always make the argument that maybe six out of the last 10 road marches have Rapso elements in them in terms of the, the, the vocal approach. Um, I remember even, even in, 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 in the 2000s, that time when even artists like David Rudder, Shadow, um, Ronnie, Ent, and Howard Go Look and all these songs, they were never um, seen as Rapso artists, but clearly the Madman Ran, Poverty is Hell, yeah. Gossipin, and those songs are Rapso, you know? So I think that is what has been happening now. The Rapso approach has been there, um, but a lot of artists haven't been claiming to be Rapso artists. Um, and, and, and that being said, however, our, our, our movement has been seeking to get back into the schools, um, deal with, with some of the young students, show them the, 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 the power and the, and the, the, the glory of, of Rapso. And so we are getting some younger people stepping up to the plate and hopefully in a year or two we'll be seeing the fruits of that. Nice. Well, I mean, Omari, let me just thank you so much for joining us. And now you know you're always welcome here. And of course, I want to wish you um, a congratulations for all the work that you're doing with Benny J and with Brother Resistance. And I wish you good luck and success uh, on the event on Monday. I want to say thank you once again to the Now Morning Show for having us. And, and I'm always tuned in and locked on. So continue <laughs> doing the good work, guys. And a happy, happy Emancipation Day to you. Same to you. Happy Emancipation. <laughs> and that was Rapso brother uh, Omari Ashby just telling us how they are going to celebrate the life of Brother Resistance on Monday. You're on the Now Morning Show. We're going to take a break and be right back. Stay with us.